Hey guys, Patrick here, and today I'm going to talk about my old Kung Fu master. Now, I originally met this guy when I was hanging out with my bullshit Wing Chun friend, and you know, it was his master, and he was like, all right, uh, I've told my master about you, and he wants to meet you, and he wants to train with you and stuff, and, I was, and train with, he wanted to train me. And I don't know why, but whatever. And so I was like, oh, cool. You know, I was, this was back when I was still like mesmerized with the dumb shit. And I was like, oh, cool. Really? I get to, I get to meet him? Oh, man, that's so cool. Like, like he's some sort of impressive. Um, so we go there one day. We schedule a day to train. And it was early as fuck in the morning. I remember that. We got... It was on a Saturday morning. We had to get up at fucking, like, 6 a.m. And then meet him at his house at 6.30 for some fucking reason. I don't know why he wanted to go that early, but whatever. Um, and, you know, I was expecting something a bit different. I mean, granted, appearances aren't everything. But when you hear about somebody who's a big, tough martial arts fighter, uh, you know, you don't expect a morbidly obese redneck to step out of the house, I'm gonna be real. So, you know, uh, we go up to him, I introduce myself, I'm like, oh, Patrick, nice to meet you, and he's like, oh, you know, it's me, I'm not gonna say his name, obviously. Um, unless I slip and I don't feel like editing it out, and then it's like, oops, who cares? Um, so, uh, we immediately go to his backyard, and he wants to train us in Wing Chun footwork, which is like you make like little circle pivots with your foot as you kind of drag it across the ground. Um, and he's like, my deck is uneven and has nails sticking out of it. So it is perfect training ground for you to train the Wing Chun walk. So we train walking um, and he's like, okay, good. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, are we going to move on to other shit? And he's like, not till you learn to walk. But so anyway, we literally practice the walking for how many ever weeks and finally finally after he was like your walking is good uh, he was like now you will learn the punch and you know the Wing Chun like circle punch and again spent weeks on that and then it's like into the Pak Sao and the Fook Sao and other shit it's been a while um but anyway so and you learn how to like, ooh, boom, and then boom, 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 and then leg kicks and all that shit. Um, and after a while, uh, he started doing bullshit retard tests to us. And what I mean by that is like, uh, one day he picked up uh, two broomsticks and he tossed them at each of us. And... My friend wasn't ready for it, so he caught it like like it slammed into his body and he like, ugh, like hugged it to catch it. And I wound up getting it like this. Um, and then I saw it coming, so I literally just reached out, grabbed it, and held it like this. And he was like, see, I can tell from the way that you both caught the staff that your bullshit martial arts friend knows how to use one, and you do not. And his reasoning was because he caught it like this. And I'm like, he didn't even catch it like that. He caught it like, he hugged it to his body and his hands wound up being in that position as a result of the way he caught it. He like, what, like and like, who's to say I couldn't just catch the staff like that and then put it in my hands like this. I didn't, I, mm. But he, he had dumb shit tests like that all the time. And eventually he started to tell us about his martial arts training and his martial arts experience. So, before he got into his past, uh, he started talking about how basically he's the best Wing Chun man ever, uh, been to every Wing Chun school within a large radius or some bullshit, uh, beat everybody, got every guy there, whatever, um, obviously shit that didn't happen. Um, you know, oh, I was able, they had this, they had this amazing uh, bag attached to the wall and when I punched it, the wall fucking shook, and the building almost collapsed. Ugh. Like, dumb shit like that. And 
I so then he started to get into his martial arts background. Um, so he claims that he trained with this withered old man who owned an antique shop, and he and he worked at the antique shop for free in exchange for martial arts lessons. And immediately I'm thinking, this sounds like a fucking kung fu movie. <laughs> and uh, his his Wing Chun master would do things like make him do push-ups over a bed of nails or fire or hot coals. Um, he would also do things like he would hold a staff and his master would have a machete or some sort of bladed object and chop at his hands and he would have to move his hands up and down the staff really fast um, or else get his hands chopped. And this was to train him to learn the staff, to, to learn how to, how to maneuver his hands up and down it really quickly in a, at a moment's notice because bow staff fights are really fucking common in the street. <laughs> and then uh, the coup de grace happened, in my opinion. Or uh, one of them anyway. And I've talked about this in another video before. But, you know, then he was like, oh... Uh, my master, the, uh, his antique shop was down the street from a biker bar, and he would hire the biggest, toughest bikers in the in the bar, and sometimes arm them with knives to jump me. And I would have to defeat them all, and I always did. <laughs> uh, so your master would hire multiple attackers armed with weapons to slay you in Mortal Kombat. And you always just came up on top. And yeah, it's just like, it's just obvious shit that he pulled from fucking movies. Um, but so then, what, what I thought was really funny was he would claim that he fought all these like high level kickboxers, karate dudes, wrestlers, judo practitioners, back when he was young, because he, he basically claimed that these professional grade fighters would come into town, and I don't know if he lived in anywhere special even, but basically these, but he, he claimed that these were champion level fighters on top of that. Not even just regular professional fighters, the cream of the fucking crop. The, the like, standout fucking boxers, kickboxers, Karate dudes, judo dudes, but so all the top guys would come into town and they would have a fight to prepare for or whatever And then some local would go up to them and be like, oh, have you heard of the guy? I'm watching his twitch <laughs> DSP joke <laughs> But so he's like, oh, you ever hear the guy? He's just some dude who practices uh, martial arts in his backyard one of the best I've ever seen and then this professional fighter would always take time away from their training camp to be like, what? Some asshole practicing martial arts in his backyard? I'll have to teach him a lesson. Because martial artists are not well known at all for their cool heads or composed demeanors. So then they would go to his backyard and then he would, they would be like, you the guy? And then he'd be like, why yes, I like, like, Yes, I am the guy. And then they, they'd be like, well, now we're going to fight because you think that you think that you can practice your martial arts. I, as long as I'm around, I'm the only one practicing martial arts in this town, boy. Very Karate Kid-esque, I would say. And then he would just be like, well, then bring it on. And he would beat them handily every time, every single fucking time, not a scratch on them. And destroyed them. Fucking, you're dead. Can't touch him. He's too good. Okay? And I I didn't even believe it back then. I, I was just like, mm-hmm, to make him feel good. Um, like, these, again, these champion-level fighters are going to take time out of their fucking busy schedules to go to some no-names backyard garage whatever to, to kick his ass to prove a point. Um, I remember the day I finally stopped training with him. It was, and uh, similar to what happened with my fake martial arts friend, it didn't have to do with martial arts, actually. It had to do with something else entirely. 
Um, so one day after we got finished training, uh, we lined up and we were like, and he was like, good work, good work to you today, boys. Um, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to learn real fighting because they're pussies. But I'm glad to see that champions like you are, are keeping up with it. And really stroking our egos. And I think literally it was just to keep us around. We were just standing there being like, yeah, you know, we're doing great. And then he started to literally get into this weird fucking political rant about like, basically like supporting anarchism. Like, like about like how these skills will serve us well in taking down the government to make men truly free again because they're coming to take our guns and our rights and our liberties and what's next, our wives? I don't think so, not as long as I'm around. Like literally going into that shit. And I was just like, man, I did not come here to be part of some fucking terrorist organization. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. And I remember as we were leaving, I I said to my, my fake martial arts friend, I was like, what the fuck was that? And he was like, I don't know. He's never said anything like that before. I don't know if he ever trained with him again. Um, it's escaping me at this moment right now if he ever did or not. I never went back. I was like, oh, no, no. I ain't getting involved with that guy. He's probably on some fucking government watch list. And that was the end of that story for many, many years. Until, like, almost 10 years. Until, uh, actually a couple months ago, I was eating out with a group of my friends. And everybody at the table was either a martial artist or a martial arts enthusiast. So, we got to talk about fighting. And as we were talking, uh, the guy sitting behind us stood up and he said, oh, you guys talking about martial arts? Uh, and we're like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I like martial arts too. And we're like, right on. And he's like, you guys ever see the Ip Man movies? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, those are great movies, huh? And uh, we're all like, yeah. And here, here's the thing. Um, I'll side note really quick. Wing Chun is bullshit. Doesn't work. Wing, it, the Ip Man movies. Some of the best martial arts action movies I've ever seen. Some some gr just fucking beautiful choreography in those fucking movies. All right. Anyway, back to the story. So he's like, you know, I do Wing Chun. And immediately I'm like, mm, do you? And uh, he's like, yeah. And my friends are like, where do you train? And he's like, oh, spot in Cleveland or whatever, whatever. And he says, I learned from my Sifu, and he says my old master's name. And I'm like, that guy? The guy? And he's like, yeah, the guy. And I'm like, he owns his own school now? And he's like, oh yeah, it's in Cleveland, and, uh, and uh, we're on the third floor of some place, and when he, when he stomps, he shakes the whole floor with his chi. And I just had to contain my laughter because just so many things at once. And that was pretty much the end of the conversation anyway. And that dude was like, okay, bye. And then he left. And I was just like, oh my fucking God. Like, <laughs> first of all, just that he managed to get enough people together to fund his own school. But secondly, he shakes... The th whole third floor with his chi. Yeah, you want to know why? Because he's fucking 500 pounds and he's on the third floor of what I assume is a really shitty building. Yeah, the floor is going to shake. When I'm in the upstairs of my house and I fucking jump up and down, guess what happens? The floor shakes. Is it because I'm so full of chi that when I smash in my ass into the fucking ground, it irradiates from my butthole and shakes the whole fucking floor? Or is it because it's just the second floor of my house and I'm putting more pressure on it than it's designed to withstand? I don't know, the chi thing seems pretty likely to me. But so anyway, guys, that has been my video on my bullshit kung fu training. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. I'm Patrick, and I'm tired as fuck, and I'm going to bed.